This is Dell's newest 27-inch USB-C monitor. This S2722DC is designed for laptop and mobile users in mind with this single USB-C cable. It comes with a fully adjustable stand, swivel, height adjustment up and down, tilt, and rotate 90 degrees in both clockwise and anti-clockwise direction. And I have to say, the motion is really addictively smooth. I won't hesitate adjusting it whenever I need to. Hi everyone, welcome to another Sky Perspective video. I'm normally not a fan of monitor desktop stands and prefer to use a monitor arm for my monitors. But for this one, I might just consider using this stand. It is very smooth with internal ball bearings for height adjustments. Those are like the sliding rails we find in smooth kitchen drawers. Now, what I like best about this monitor is this single USB-C cable. This single USB-C cable drives everything. First of all, it delivers 65 watt of power to charge my laptop. And 65 watt is the exact wattage that my ASUS ZenBook Duo laptop needed. On the menu, we can select if we want charging power delivery on this USB-C connection. I have it switched on all the time. And after a few days, I forgot what it means to charge my laptop using its original charging adapter. My laptop is always ready because this Dell monitor is always charging it whenever I dock my laptop with this monitor. Don't need my original ASUS laptop charger anymore. Occasionally, when I'm too lazy to set up my laptop, I can also easily plug the USB-C cable into my phone. And there we go, I have a full desktop experience running Samsung DeX without any computer. Now flowing back in the other opposite direction of this USB-C cable is the monitor display signal and the audio signal from the laptop. The speakers are pretty average, good enough to watch news and listen to podcasts, but not good for music or watching movies. It has no bass at all. Let's move on and take a look at the bottom of this monitor. This is the first USB-A port. It's a high-speed 5 gigabits per second USB 3.2 Gen 1 USB port. And the best part is, it comes with BC 1.2 battery charging standard. This means fast charging for my phone when I plug it into this USB port. This is my typical setup. Laptop connected and charging using the USB-C cable. And my Galaxy S21 connected and charging using the USB-A port while I run Samsung DeX on my laptop's windows. Dell has relocated this USB-A port to this position for our convenience, and I can appreciate that. However, I do find it quite fiddly to locate the port and plug in the USB device, because it's at the bottom. As for the ports behind the monitor, we have two HDMI ports, and this is the USB-C input that delivers 65 watt to charge my laptop. And then, audio out for us to plug in external speakers or headphones. And finally, the second USB-A port. This second USB-A port is also a high-speed USB 3.2 USB port, the same as the previous one. Except, this USB-A port does not have BC 1.2 charging, only standard USB charging, so, it still charges the connected device, just not fast charging. On the other side, we have the standard power supply connector and a Kensington security lock slot. And on the bottom right of the monitor, we have the second speaker, the standard four menu buttons and the power button. In terms of the looks and build quality of this monitor, it's okay, not great. 
Dell really knows what its customer want and where to cut their cost. They use cheap plastic for the back while investing in smooth ball bearings for the monitor height adjustment, like I showed earlier. This S2722DC has a very similar build as all Dell's S-series monitors. I've done another video on the other S-series Full HD monitor and compared it with two of its other siblings. Check it out if you haven't watched it. Even though this S2722DC monitor we are reviewing today is a QHD monitor, the color and texture of the back of the monitors and the matte finish screen are pretty much identical to the S2721H Full HD monitor. I won't be surprised, Dell is reusing the same chassis or the outer frame for both monitors. And putting the S2721H Full HD monitor side by side with this S2722DC USB-C monitor, we pretty much can't tell any difference until we switch them on. The QHD and Full HD resolution is a world of difference. This S2722DC monitor is my first QHD monitor and I was wondering what took me so long to switch over to QHD. With QHD, we have so much more real estate. This is a sample of tiling two browser windows side by side on the two monitors and on Window File Explorer, changing the view settings to show large icons and this is extra large icons. Okay, and this is me editing my YouTube videos on HitFilm Express. I have access to so much more editing control panels on the S2722DC QHD resolution. So, if you are considering whether to get a Full HD or a QHD monitor, I would highly recommend you going for the QHD. This Dell monitor is selling for 549 Australian dollars, but I bought it at a discount for only $350 during Black Friday sale. The menu selections are pretty standard Dell's menu items where we can use the four up, down, in and return buttons to navigate. The menus that are unique to this S2722DC monitor are the USB options. We can turn on and off the power delivery option for both the USB-C port, the one I connect to my laptop, and also the USB-A port, the one on the bottom left where I plug in my phone. The other menu I find very useful is this personalized shortcut key menu. It lets us configure the shortcut when we first press the left two buttons. Currently, my first button is set to preset mode. Let me change it to input source. And look, the first button becomes the option to switch input source. I sometimes connect two laptops to this monitor at the same time, one using the USB-C and the other using HDMI. So having this shortcut to switch input sources is really convenient. Okay, on to the monitor stand installation. Once again, like my previous Dell monitors, I really like their mechanical stand design. The base comes with this stud with a wing screw in the middle to screw onto the monitor arm. After that, we simply slot in the arm into the back of the monitor, lower it to snap it in place. 
And to remove the stand, all we need to do is press the button to release the monitor from the stand. This is so much easier compared to my S2721F Full HD Dell monitor, where we have to insert a screwdriver into the small pinhole and yank the stand downwards. Oh, and like all Dell monitors, this S2722DC monitor comes with its own VESA mount screws that are already installed in their slot. And in terms of unboxing, you may want to note that there is only a USB-C to USB-C cable included. There are no HDMI cable. I noticed this USB-C to USB-C cable is quite different. It's stiffer and the internal circuit board areas are much longer than typical USB-C cables. If you find this video useful, help me like this video and subscribe to the channel so I can keep making videos for all of you. You can also support the channel by using the links in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching till the end. You take care and look after yourself. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.